Today we're going to talk about Michael Chandler and the topic of adoption because um, for those of you who don't know, Michael Chandler is a white guy. He's a UFC fighter who adopted two black children and he went on a podcast. They asked him about his children and them being black and he had this to say. I'm not raising black children. I'm raising children. And whether you are black or you are white, no matter what race that you are, there are certain things about being a man and being a good man when it comes to character and integrity and safeguarding the helpless and sticking up for those who need it. And being a good man, a good man of reputation, none of that has to do with skin color. Everything has to do with the character of the man. Probably not an answer that some people would say is important, but that's where the world has gone, where we think that the most important thing about us is our skin color or our gender or our political affiliation or all these different identity politics or the identities that we put on each other when really we're just human beings on this earth and there are certain things about being a good person that transcend skin color and age and sex and religion and all of those different things. I love that answer. Hmm. Now, any normal person who saw what Michael Chandler said would say, hmm, I agree. I think that we should raise kids to be good people, not based on the color of their skin. They should just be good people, have good character. For context, this is Michael Chandler's family. Now, as you can see, he is a white man who has a white wife and they have decided to adopt two black boys. And of course, the racists always have a problem because to them, race is all they see. They can never see a person just simply adopting a black boy who's in need of a home that is in a system because he was put there by his black mother. Instead, they decide that it's white people's fault because they're adopting kids that have a need for a home. It is somehow the white man's fault. The black kid ended up in foster care and he ended up adopting. Now I'm going to play a video for you guys and we're going to react to it and we're going to give our own opinion and then I'm going to play a couple more videos about people rebutting this, talking about this issue and how stupid this person actually sounds. Why do white people adopt black children? It's a real question for me. Why do white people adopt black children and then say things like, I'm not raising black children. I'm raising children. Well, oh, are, are you? you? So this is UFC fighter Michael Chandler, and this is his wife. They've adopted two black children, and he recently did an interview Good. where he stated he's not raising black children. He's raising children. And while I understand that he thinks that he means well by creating this think piece of, I don't see color, let me tell you why that's a problem. Even though you claim that you and your wife don't see color, the world does. This is America. And so when yeah, those children look at you, there's going to be, this can be problematic because it ignores the racial and cultural identity of the child. By not acknowledging the child's racial background, you're going to inadvertently neglect certain aspects of their identity. And you know whose fault that is? You fucking hard, and I don't use that word lightly, you fucking you know whose fault that is that he now will have no identity it's his mother's fault for him ended up in foster care she most likely put him up for fucking adoption that's why he's there and that's why he got adopted by a white family it's like these people don't seem to know how adoption actually works when a kid is put into foster care they well before they put him into foster care they first try to get them adopted by other family members grandpa grandma uncle sister brother and if they can't get them then they try to put them with a family that will most likely have their cultural background and if they can't do that then guess what they get adopted by the next best thing which is a white family who actually wants these kids because they want them you think these people are going into fucking foster care looking for kids they don't want they don't care they just want to adopt because they know that the foster system is much worse especially when you can provide a life to a kid who will probably live like shit and just be put out on the street when he turns 18 from the foster care system. When you can provide, when you have the opportunity to be able to provide a better life for a kid, you wouldn't do it regardless of the race? Because that's what these people are doing. Yet she's mad that these people decide to give these kids a better life simply because of the color of their skin. She'd rather them suffer than to be with a loving family and a loving home regardless of the color of the skin. She'd rather them suffer in the system than to be with a white family. This is fucking 
racism this is what i talked this is what i said this is why i said at the beginning of the video the races always come out and out themselves they always do it and it's so obvious but we're no no we're not allowed because black people aren't racist there's black people are fucking racist and a lot of times black people are the most fucking racist people out there but they'll tell you it's not fucking racism racism is prejudice plus power and black people have no power in this country so therefore they can't be racist like you gotta be fucking kidding me anyways let's continue which is black you're gonna neglect their experiences you're gonna neglect what they may go through when they get out in the real world because they will not be treated like you so when you say that you're not raising black children you're only raising children how are you going to explain to them when they get treated different at what point did we just decide as a society as a, as a country that we're no longer going to let children be children i'm not saying that there shouldn't be conversations about the things that happen out there in the real in the real world but at what point do we just let kids be kids it's the same shit with this lgbtq shit. In, in school why are we teaching third graders about lgbtq none of the people in the past that were gay got taught that in school yet they knew they were gay they knew they were trans they knew they were whatever so why do we need to teach it to kids now because if you're gay like they they are you all the time if you're gay you're gay you, you, there's you can't change who you are that's who you are so why do kids need to know about this in first second third grade same thing why do you need to destroy the innocence of children and inundate them with racial concepts from when they're very little, when they're still innocent. Why not just let them be kids? And when the time to have that conversation happens, the conversation will be had. But Michael Chandler said nothing wrong. He wants to raise men of character. And that has nothing to do with race because there are men of character of every race. There's men of character that are black, men of character that are white, men of character that are Asian, Native American, mixed whatever there's men of character in every race and there's nothing wrong with wanting to raise your children your boys whether they're black or not to be men of character there's literally nothing wrong with that and so she rather them worry about the fact that they're black from very little and grow up scared about some potential racism in the world that hasn't yet materialized Instead of worrying about being a kid and being a good person from very early on, this is what this woman cares about. In the schools that you put them in, when they get treated different out in society, when they get treated different in the workplace, how are you going to explain that to them? Is race going to come up then? Another reason why I don't understand why white people adopt black children is because a lot of times white people are not around a lot of black people, right? And so you're only going to have these black children around other white people. And I'm just assuming here, I don't know him personally, but I'm just saying for the that? most part, whenever we see white celebrities adopt black children, they have them within their group of friends, right? All white yeah, people. What's wrong when with that? they're not just, even though you're raising them, you want to expose them to their own culture. Do you have any black friends? Is there any type of culture? What the fuck is she talking about? You want to expose them to their own culture? That shit got thrown out the window when the parent decided to put him in foster care. You know what their culture became? Their culture became their parents' culture. Their adoptive parents' culture. That's the culture they're going to have now. And skin color doesn't dictate culture. That's why there are billions of black people in the world. Africa is a continent full of black people. Yet, not all the countries in Africa share the same values in the same cultures. That would be like saying Nigeria and South Africa are basically the fucking same cultural wise because majority of the people in those countries are black or that Nigeria and Egypt are the same. Even though majority of the people in Egypt are Arabs that don't share the same culture or that Nigeria and Morocco are the same. That's the argument she's making. That's literally the argument that she's making. That your culture is di is based on your skin color, not how you grew up in the customs around you. Which is what his cult, what these kids' culture would be, would be the culture that Michael instills in them because he is now the parent. Cultural significance you can give these children any shows, any areas, any schools, any anything to show them somebody who looks. She wants these kids to be around black people at the expense of how they grow up, of their well-being. That's what she's advocating for. 
at the expense of their education, at the expense of their upbringing, just because they were adopted by a white family. That's what she's, that's, that's what she wants. Like them and not just like you. When these children grow up, or what we see most of the time, when these children end up growing up, they feel lost in the world and they don't know where they fit in. Because on one side of the spectrum, you really don't fit in with the black population because you've been raised as white. Yeah, but whose fault is that they don't fit with the black population? The parents' fault or the fact that the black community won't accept them because they grew up with white parents? So who's really at fault here? And of course, like you said, right, they won't be accepted by white people because they're not white. But the community that has a duty to accept them, regardless of how they grew up, because it wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault they ended up in foster care and a white family adopted them. So the community whose duty is to accept them, despite their circumstances, won't do it. So whose fault is that? I'm just asking questions. Even though you are black. Then, on the other side of the spectrum, you're around all these white people and they don't 100% accept you because at the end of the day, you're black. So with all of these complexities, why would you not acknowledge or raise your children as black children to prepare them the best that you can in the world? This, I don't see. But how do you, as a white person, raise a kid, raise a black kid as a black kid? How? That's like saying a black adoptive family that adopts a white child for whatever reason needs to raise them like white kids. So how, how, do, how does a black family who doesn't know the white experience, because that's what black people claim all the time, white people don't know the black experience. So how is a white person who doesn't know the black experience supposed to raise a black child as a black child? She's not making sense. And I hate these stupid f***ing racist people because that's what they are. Again, they're, they're just racist. You know the reason why white people adopt these people, it, these kids, is because the black mothers give them up. How many of you, are you lined up to go and adopt some black children? How many in the black community are adopting black children? Not many people, or just children in general, they're not. You know why? A lot of them don't qualify, and a lot of them don't want to do that. A lot of these people open up their homes because they feel an obligation to society for a kid who needs a home to come to their house and grow up with a fighting chance. Then grow up with no chance at all. Why do white people adopt black children? It's a real question for me. That's an easy question to answer. And I can tell you from having worked for 10 years in child welfare and having actually um, gone through helping families adopt and guardianship to different children of different colors, ethnicities, races, you name it. Uh, the fact of the matter is that it's because it's white families that are opening their homes. It's just as simple as that. Uh, if you look at these statistics, go to the Department of Health and Human Services. OK, more white families open their homes up to children of any race than other families of other races. Now, if families of color, of black families wanted to open their homes up for adoption to children who are black, of course, everyone would love to see that. But that's just simply not what's happening. Now, for you, example, have you opened your home up? Have you adopted any children that need a family? I'm guessing you haven't. So, and here's the thing too, you know, let's say if these white families said, oh, no, no, we only want to adopt white children. Well, then you'd be calling that racist. So no matter what happens, you're just going to be upset and unhappy about it because you're looking for things to be offended by, which is really, really sad and obviously and honestly really weak to be, you know, to say the truth here. Um, but the thing is, you know, when a child needs a placement, whether it's in foster care or looking for adoption or whatever, of course, all agencies try to first find a family that the, that the child can, uh, can identify with. First, they try to actually find family, like their actual relatives. And if they can't, if nobody says that they want the child, they all say, sorry, nope, I got no room. I can't take a child, whatever. Or their background checks don't come out clear. They've got criminal background, whatever it is. You got to find somewhere for the kid to go. It's not like we have like a warehouse where you can just store these children until they age out or you can find a place for them. So you're trying to find somewhere for them. And if it just happens to be that it's a white family, well, then it's a white family. Now, would you rather these children be living in an institution somewhere like they do in Russia and other countries where they basically just put them in these big giant rooms and nobody talks to them and they're just left there until they grow up and then they're released back into society? Would, would that make you happy? I mean, what do you want here? What is your solution? You want to sit here and say that this is some kind of a problem. I would love to hear your solution to this problem. Please, do wet or sitch this. I, I would love to hear how do you resolve this issue of making sure that 
that um, children of color who don't have parents for whatever reason, whether they're abandoned, the, the parents have died, the parents are incarcerated, whatever the case may be, how do we resolve this issue? How do we make sure that they're going to homes with families that they can identify with? Because if if those families that those families that could be opening are not opening their homes, if they're saying, no, we don't want them, what would you like to have done? Please share with us. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? My second question is, why do you care who adopts them and what color they are as long as they love that child and raise them right? And lastly, I see color. I see color. But when I see a little baby, I don't go, oh, look at that little white baby or look at that little black baby. These are babies. They haven't been filled with ignorance yet. Let them babies be babies and grow up to be good people. Now, let me show you guys something that is probably the most idiotic, stupid, brain dead take in all of this that I've seen so far. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? Oh, this is actually a pretty easy one. See, I know that this was an attempted gotcha on black people. But like most things, this one's actually on us. See, we've got a little bit of a pattern when it comes to transracial adoption. First with indigenous children, then black children, then Korean children, then Chinese children. This is what a white supremacist society does. It steals black, brown, indigenous, and other children of color in hopes of making them white too. You heard it here first, white people. Stop adopting black kids or you're racist. But if you don't adopt black kids, you're also fucking racist. You're racist. You're racist. You're racist. You're a racist. That's what you are. That's what you are. You are a racist if you don't adopt these kids. But if you also adopt them and give them a loving home where they can have a family that will care for them and give them a chance at becoming something in life, something better than a drain on society, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't give them the chance. You shouldn't give it to them because you're going to lose either way. Either way, you're a fucking racist either way you're a racist you don't adopt them you're a racist because how dare you not want black kids to adopt them why do you want black kids what is the obsession with, with adopting black kids you can't win either way and this brain dead fucking take from this guy they want to turn them white you realize you cannot change your fucking skin color you don't want to turn them white they open their homes because they rather see a kid succeed than be stuck in a bad system. But before I wrap this up, I'm going to leave you guys with a feel-good story. Here is Mr. Dave and his adoption story. Why do white people adopt black children? It's a real question for me. If you've been following me for very long, you know that both of my children are adopted. And you may have seen my daughter in a video or two and half the world has heard my daughter in a video that went uh, semi-viral and went around the world a couple of times. Hey, Ava. Yeah? Knock, knock. Show me the warrant. But odds are you've probably never seen my son. And that's because he's just no fan of TikTok. He's no fan of the attention. He is, um, he, he, he's a little bit shy. This is my son. We adopted him at two years old. And the picture you're seeing is from prom, which was last weekend. My wife and I were 35 and 36 years old when we adopted our children. Uh, we had real simple criteria. We wanted a boy and we wanted a girl. And we wanted an older brother and a little sister. We wanted a big brother, little sister situation. If you know anything about adoption, it's kind of a you get what you get and you don't throw a fit situation. Um, th there is no inventory, there's no warehouse where they're keeping these children and you get to put your order in. Uh, it's a, it's a, let's see what we have available and let's see what be a, what would be a good fit for your family. Look, we did not set out to adopt a mixed race child. We got the call from CPS saying, Hey, we've got a little man needing a home and we said what a coincidence we've got a home needing a little man and to be quite frank about it he could have been purple with three eyes and I would not have cared he is my son he has been my son for 15 years and truth be told he was always my son I just hadn't found him till he was two 
So I know the question on the table is, why do white people adopt black children? Can't speak for all white people, but for us, we had a home needing a child, and we were connected with a child who needed a home. That simple.